Cover your ears, YOLO crowd. Citadel's Ken Griffin just had a big September, and that's what I want to talk about is what kind of percentage gain Citadel just had in the month of September. Keep in mind, September was the worst month since the crash of the markets in March of 20. 20. Now, the numbers here just don't make a lot of sense, but I encourage you guys to do some more research and follow up on some of the things that I'm going to be talking about in this video. Feel free to let me know what you guys uncover down below in the comment section. As well as that, I do want to go over payment for order flow, why it essentially should not be the way it is. I don't think apes have necessarily a problem with payment for order flow just because we save a lot of money now, uh, you know, comparatively to when trades cost six dollars to enter six dollars to exit out of but it's the fact that one entity should not be able to be a market maker as well as a hedge fund and i do want to dive into that a little bit more and ultimately get your guys opinions on that do you guys just not like payment for order flow whatsoever you'd rather pay six dollars per trade to enter and exit or just you know not let one entity basically be a monopoly of retail trades like citadel currently is. So I look forward to hearing you guys' opinions on this, but with that being said, let's dive straight into this video. Cover your ears, YOLO crowd. Citadel's Ken Griffin just had a big September. Retail meme stock traders may not like it, but Citadel's Ken Griffin just had a solid September. The billionaire runs one of the largest market makers in the world, Citadel Securities, and one of the biggest hedge funds in the world. Of course, Citadel is probably the most disliked company in Reddit's Wall Street Bets community due to the GameStop and AMC saga earlier this year. But in September, the worst month for U.S. equity since March of 2020, uh, Griffin's flagship fund actually gained 7.8%. Here's a look at three stocks in Citadel's portfolio that helped it outperform the market. One of them could be worth purchasing with some of your spare change. It's just McDonald's, Boeing, and Bank of America. And these stocks have done decent, but when you take a step back and take a look at Citadel's actual portfolio, guys... 13,568 current positions. That means that every stock on average in September would have went up 7.8%. I don't mathematically think that is possible. I'm not a mathematician here, but 13,568 positions in the worst month of equities in 18 months or worst decline in equities in 18 months to return on average 7.8% on 13,568 positions sounds a a little unbelievable or too good to be true now this is where you can get a little bit into the tin and what i you know don't like is one entity like ken griffin and citadel being able to have citadel advisors as well as be a market maker that routes a majority of retail order flows about 47 percent so there is a huge disadvantage to retail investors but i don't necessarily think us apes uh, have a problem with payment for order flow if you didn't run a hedge fund as well and can directly bet against the trades that we are making. I think that is the big problem. I don't necessarily have a problem with payment for order flow unless you're somebody like Citadel or Ken Griffin that has the availability to manipulate our order flows. I think we ultimately do save a lot of money by you know not having to pay $6 to enter a trade, $6 to exit a trade. It used to be much more than that, but it comes down to this simple factor, and I wish more people did talk about this, that it's not really an issue with payment for order flow. It's an issue with one entity being in control of a market, being a market maker as well as a hedge fund. I think that's the biggest concern that I do have and most apes have. Let me know if that makes some sense to you guys if you just don't like payment for order flow whatsoever. But let's dive a little bit more into their actual positions and why I say it's it's. I mean, it's pretty much impossible in, you know, September, we had one of the worst month since March, 2020. And if you take a look at the portfolio allocation, you guys can see all of these positions are like nothing in their portfolio. Nothing is a very substantial amount as far as the 13F filings and the digging that I have been doing, not even close to one 
percent so it's very hard to believe that these numbers are accurate unless they are doing some you know shady numbers you know shady things with the market maker and with their hedge fund now here is another website that does break it down a little bit more but i'm not sure exactly how up to date this website is and it says ken griffin's uh Ken Griffin stocks portfolio hedge fund Citadel advisors manager Ken Griffin performance Q2 up 8.80 percent assets under management 96.48 billion now on Fintel which is obviously going to be more up to date you have to pay to actually have access to all this information portfolio values 446 billion 716 million 850 thousand dollars so a very large portfolio but you you might get some value out of this as well it says facebook inc uh the value is 1.02 billion dollars and actually i will go down to here and take a look at it exactly let's do it let's do it let's do it guys now it took a while to pull it up because there's a lot of data points to obviously filter through on fintel 13,500 positions but we have it pulled up facebook Two million nine hundred forty five thousand four hundred ninety three shares that Citadel does own. This is as of June 30th. That matches up directly with what this website, hedge, hedgefollow.com, is indicating to us. So I think that provides a little bit more uh, credibility to this website. So we're just going to take a look at this website. So uh, Facebook, like I said, 1% of the portfolio, and that is the top holding only 1%, AT&T 0.98%, Amazon only 0.63%, and it starts to drop off after that with a majority of its top 20 positions still under half a percent. So I just can't make the numbers make a lot of sense here. Why their portfolio is up 8% is just beyond me it's not due to the fact that they were hedging on the way down i don't believe that whatsoever that wouldn't have made a significant impact on a portfolio size this big so if you guys want to do any more following up on this then feel free to do that i just think it highlights a big issue that is going on so that is all for this video. If you guys got some value out of it, drop that like on the video. Consider subscribing to the channel as well as let me know down below in the comment section what else you guys are able to uncover, why their portfolio did grow as much as it did in September. I think overall, it just highlights the potential fraud that is going on, fraud and manipulation that is going on if you are in a market maker that routes a majority of retail order flows as well as a hedge fund that can bet against those order flows so that's all for this video guys if you guys do want to directly support the channel check out the links for public as well as the link for weeble down below in the description of this video as well as the link for the buy and sell alerts if you guys want to be notified every time a trade is bought or sold in real time definitely check that out that is very inexpensive but that's all for this video like i said i will see you guys in the next one